Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to take this uh, this four inch blast gate that you can get from Lee, uh, Lee Valley Tools, and uh, we're going to modify it to automate its clo its closing and opening. And so what you can see here is my approach to this, and there's some other videos out there of people who have done uh, different uh, solutions, but uh, this is pretty simple. I simply use a very small, about an inch and a quarter uh, coil to coil uh, spring and uh, a um, cylinder, a pneumatic cylinder, to push the gate open. This is a six millimeter um, uh, tubing and then some basic connectors to connect the solenoid to to your your tubing and then on to uh, your your cylinder um, I tried to lay this out so it's pretty simple to see but uh, well I'll go ahead and step you through it this is simply an input for my uh, my air pressure comes up into your solenoid all right on the top of the solenoid is a small uh, outlet that uh, allows your pressure to go to your cylinder all right when the cel when the solenoid is open and then out the other side of this particular solenoid there is an exit path and this is simply run over to a valve that I have closed off if you were doing these in series you could run your air pressure through all of this and simply have a number of solenoids out here feeding each one of your gates the other piece of this is this black wire here and you'll see that this is uh, simply a 110 wire and it is running to uh, my remote control outlet. I got that from uh, off of eBay, and it is simply um, this Zap uh, remote outlet switch. Works real well for this application. So you're going to hear a little bit of air pressure uh, or air noise. And when I hooked this up, I didn't tighten all the fittings up so well. But uh, for what we're demonstrating here, that's not really a big deal. So let me get that hooked up, and then I will demonstrate this uh, the solution. Okay, so you just heard my air compressor kick on, but we've got air pressure running to our solenoid. Okay, our gate is still closed, and using the uh, the remote control switch here, I'm simply going to press my button, and my gate opens immediately. I press the close button, and it closes back up. What is nice about this particular solenoid is it has a relief uh, hole for the pressure, so that allows your gate to close up very quickly. This is a previous solution I had done with a different solenoid. It does not have that relief, and so uh, it closes much more slowly as the pressure simply leaks off. Uh, you could still do it with a solenoid like this, but you would want to uh, potentially put a small hole in your tubing or find a, a, a relief valve of some type to attach on that side. So again, very simple solution to building a, a gate. Uh, it's simply a hole at the top with the uh, cylinder attached. Uh, you'll notice I have a uh, washer here. That's to give enough uh, distance here for this to actually allow that gate to close fully. And then it's just a simple pressure uh, of the solenoid of the cylinder uh, closing the, the opening the gate. Uh, at the end of this, you'll see that I had uh, uh, taken the nuts and uh, I went ahead and just attached them to give me a little more surface that I'll be pushing on the, the structure here. And uh, that's pretty much it. I think just about anyone could, could, could build this. And uh, to be honest, it's very cheap. I will go ahead and include some information on the various sources of the, the pieces that I got along with this video.